Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about iPhone iTunes and more specifically, we're gonna show how to change an iTunes credit card. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with iTunes, basically what it is, it is the marketplace for iOS devices like Apple, iPhones, iPads, MacBooks, MacBook Pros, iMacs, all of these Apple products. You use iTunes, you use iTunes to buy apps that work with your device. And how do you buy that? You use a credit card and the credit card is usually stored in your iTunes. But how do you change your iTunes credit card on your iPhone? That's what we're gonna talk about. So this is gonna be a really quick, easy tutorial. There's not a lot of steps involved. First thing you wanna do is go to the settings app, which is this gray icon. It has gears, it looks like. I'm gonna click there now. All right, I went ahead and clicked on that icon and then the settings menu pops up. And here on this screen, you can make a lot of different personalizations for your iPhone. But if you want to go ahead and change your iTunes credit card, you want to scroll down until you get to this section right here called iTunes and App Store. It has this blue and white icon next to it with it looks like kind of like an A. I'm going to click there now. All right, once you go there, then you're going to see your Apple ID here at the top. It's written in blue. It's probably your email address like what mine is, but I guess it could be something different. I've never actually seen an Apple ID anything aside from an email. If yours happens to be like a phone number or a name, be sure to leave a comment below. Let us know how you change it to that but it's probably just your email address it doesn't really matter though go ahead and click on this blue line after apple id i'm going to click there now all right next this pop-up happens and you have four different options here but you want to choose the top option called view apple id i'm going to click there now all right once you click there then the account settings screen pops up and again you're going to see your apple id towards the top but if you want to go ahead and change an itunes credit card you want to click right here on manage payment methods it's the second line down from the top i'm going to click there now all right so this screen pops up called manage manage payments. And this is going to show all the different payment methods that you have set up with your iTunes account. So as you can see, I have two, a MasterCard and a Visa. And if you'd like to change the payment method on your iPhone, as far as primary goes, it's pretty easy. What you want to know is that the credit card that's on the top is going to be the primary. And then if that one doesn't go through, then iTunes is going to start billing cards further down the list until it gets to the bottom. So if you want one to be primary, you just click this edit button here on the top, right? I'm going to click there now. All right. So now once you click there, then you can kind of switch the credit cards around so you can switch the visa up to the top or the mastercard down and you get to choose which one is going to be the primary credit card for your itunes on your iphone for me i like to have my mastercard as the primary so i'm going to go ahead and leave that once you're done go ahead and click the blue done button here on the top right i'm going to click there now and if you want to go ahead and change your itunes credit card to something new it's pretty easy you just click this line right here add payment method i'm going to click there now all right here you're in the add payment screen so here on this screen you can click down here credit card or debit card i'm going to click there now all right i went ahead and clicked there and then itunes on your iphone will ask for the card number expiration date and security code for the card that you would like to add i'm not going to add a new credit card but i want to show you where that would appear once you followed those steps you would click done once you click done then it'll bring you back to the payment method screen let me click back there now all right here we are again on the manage payment screen so if you added another card then you would have a third card listed right here and then the same thing you can click edit and switch those around to the card that you want to be the primary so that is how you change iTunes credit card on your iPhone for your iOS devices. If you happen to know an easier way to do that, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But as far as I can see, that is the easiest way to change iTunes credit card on your iPhone. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.